The original blast gate I had is this one here. And as you can see, it's a 50 mil blast gate. I made these 50 mil blast gates for um, all the different stations that I have around my workshop. And as you can see, I've also uh, got them wired in with these um, limit switches here. That's wired back to a small control box so that I can switch the um, dust collection on at each station rather than going having to walk over to one um, point. And the way it works basically is just this little um, little stopper here uh, works in two ways. Obviously stops the slider going all the way through, it lines up the hole where it should be for the pipe and also um, strikes that limit switch to turn the thing on. I'll just demonstrate that. So as you slide that across. So what I'm going to do in this video is just remake this uh, just much bigger to accommodate 90 mil pipe. The principle will be exactly the same. The way these smaller blast gates connected to the pipe work was just through these um, these flanges here. Now these flanges are quite uh, easily available from the hardware store. So uh, yes, I just went with those. But in the case of 90 mil, there wasn't really anything um, similar to that available. So I, I was thinking, how am I going to get the 90 mil pipe to join onto the um, the timber. But luckily I had um, a stash of old PVC pipe fittings and when I looked through them I found a couple of these and what they are, these are floor wastes or well, old floor wastes from um, a couple of bathroom renovations that I did in the house and they just happen to be exactly 90 millimetres. So basically they're going to replace those do or do the same function as those just on a bigger scale to um, to cut the holes in the new blast gate I'm going to use a hole saw I have the closest thing I have to this is a hundred millimeter hole saw or four inch hole saw so I'll go with that and then once I add a bit of um, meat on each side of the hole for the slider to make sure I get good dust sealing in here and then a little bit extra here to uh, join the two halves together I'm probably looking at about 180 millimeters square the, um, the finished size of that blast gate so that one there's 135 so yeah 180 is about that wide there so that'll be pretty good so we'll go with that I started off by trimming down some 16 millimeter melamine scrap into two pieces that were 180 millimeters square Then I just found the centre of that piece by crossing the diagonals, marked up some um, holes for fixing screws to screw the two pieces together, punched them, drilled them out on the table, on the uh, bench drill, drilled through, just through the first um, layer only, so that I could get a marking on the um, second board, and then in the second board I drilled a pilot hole. Screw the two pieces together so that I could um, Drill the four inch hole saw through both at the same time. Started on one side, and then once I'd gone through with the pilot hole, I um, turned it over and drilled from the other side so that it didn't uh, blow out. Next, I cut some 20 mil strips of nine mil MDF. So I was using nine mil MDF as the slider. So after screwing the two halves together, I found that the slider was actually jammed in between the two plates. So what I needed was a tiny little bit of clearance and the way I got that was just with one thickness of um, masking tape on each side and that provided just enough clearance to make the slider move freely but still maintaining a dust free um, seal. Next I just cut some scrap pine, 30mm um, strips and what these were going to be was the um, fully open and fully closed stoppers for the slider. So the first um, stopper goes on and um, that's going to be the open position and also uh, attach the micro switch for the dust collection. Once I had that in place I could then 
drill through the slider with the four inch hole saw and that way I knew the hole would line up exactly. So as I said, that's the open position. Give it a quick sand and install it back in to check for fit. I've deliberately left the slider extra long because I don't want to be reaching underneath the table saw to open and close the slider. So this sits in the very center of my um, table saw and I've just taken a measurement and from the edge of the pipe to the outside edge of the, the front panel of the table saw is 210 millimeters, which is there. So this length is actually gonna work out perfect. What I'll do is I'll put a, um, a stop block there just to stop the slider going all the way through it. It only needs to clear that hole there to make a seal. So I'll put one that, that block there as the stopper and I'll put a third block here and that's just gonna be basically a pull handle. All right, so the sliding mechanism is basically finished now. It's, um, it's working really well. So that's in the closed position obviously and I'll, and I'll be able to grab that from the front of the table saw and then open it up. And once that hole lines up, the micro switch is engaged and that'll instantly turn on the, um, the dust extractor. So that's great, it's working good. So with the blast gate finished now, all I had to do was uh, install it into the saw. Uh, and all that took was two lengths of 90mm pipe, two short lengths. Top one there to attach to the dust outlet on the saw. Use some duct tape just to get a good seal there. And that bottom piece uh, to sit into the bottom elbow. Those elbow joints were uh, pretty tight, they didn't need any further sealing than that. Got the uh, wires onto the uh, limit switch and it's all good to go. That's the um, pull handle sitting there in the closed position so it doesn't protrude very far at all and easy to grab.